Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 with another Sunday update. Um, so this is what's currently going on in the tent. Um, <laughs> I mean, the cucumbers are out of control. I might just do a, I might do the cucumber individual video, but let's just see. This is the inside the tent video for December 11th. What do we got going on? We have two tiers of lettuce. I actually just brought this down. I'm considering moving this tier down because I might just have a couple of enormous salads. I mean, I've been literally slacking on my salad. Sometimes it's just easier for whatever reason to not. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's unbelievable that I have so much lettuce, but I don't put it to the use that I want. And I know some of you are going to say, man, I wish you were my neighbor. Because you guys got rabbits or you got all sorts of kind of animals that would love this. But I'm still consuming this stuff. But where my eye really is is here. And there. This is the uh, hydroponic broccoli. Would you look at this? This is... Uh, this is unbelievable. If you guys actually look at the past videos of where this started out, it's unbelievable how large it's grown. Now let me actually get real close inside and show you what's really going on. Right, Look at that. We just take a look right inside here. This is where the crown is going to be coming out of. I don't know when it's going to be happening. But it's going to be happening. First of all, it's beautiful. It's unbelievable. Like, what's happening here? I can't wait till this thing literally has its first... I just want to see it grow. Because this is the first time I've actually let it grow to this point. And it's actually was capable of growing to this point. So. The reason why I wanted to move this down is because this is actually just kind of overgrowing this space. So I want to bring it down to let the leaves flourish a little more, to have a little more space, even if it takes for me to get rid of all this lettuce and um, put this on its own shelf. I actually had some really great ideas regarding bringing this down and how to manage space on up and down. I mean, I have really good ideas for a grow tent kind of extension attachment such as this um, multi-tier um, storage so this is obviously this 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 metal piece is like a storage piece that you would store things in um, it's really really hard and pretty frustrating to actually be able to move these little pieces you have to move the entire shelf upward you have to reposition these certain little locks and then the actual shelving kind of drops down on them to fasten I have some really great ideas for a piece like this for people that take this type of thing really seriously and grow consistently and freak more like you know they take this really really seriously where this is like a, you know 95% or 90% of their you know food supply on the regular basis so I'm not sure what I want to do here um, I'm really just waiting for this this broccoli to grow I still have so much pirate lettuce and I still have a little more of this um, romaine lettuce left. It's it's grown out of control. I'm kind of already so tired of it. But let's you know why don't we just move down here and talk a little bit about the the cucumbers. Man, these things are doing so well. There are flowers everywhere. There's little hands everywhere. I mean. This thing is thriving right now. This thing is doing so, so good. I'm really excited for it to keep moving forward. I've been on the lookout for um, for some female plants. You know, I read that, and I might have mentioned this in my other post, that you know, for every female plant, there's like 10 male plants. Male flowers, that is. And I'm going to be manually pollinating this thing. So, I'm on the lookout for those female plants and hopefully it's coming soon I mean I don't think this thing is just that big yet 
You know, I mean, this thing is, um, wow, today's the 11th. This thing is, this thing is like 40 days in. Now, it could be totally different if it's outside, I don't know. But all I know is hydroponically it's taken this long and it's going to take a lot longer. I'm not sure how long a harvest for cucumbers is. But this has definitely taken way, way longer. But the flowers look great. But I am just waiting to see some little jurgens starting to come out. Hopefully that happens soon. And I will definitely film myself manually pollinating them. Look at this thing. Isn't this beautiful? Let's get an up close shot of this. Is that cool or what? It's freaking awesome. Overall, all the plants are doing real well, guys. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you're growing. Let me know how it's doing. Maybe post the video. We'll link back to it. But overall here, everything's looking pretty good. Everything's definitely looking pretty good. Hope you guys are growing well. Hope you guys are doing well. Winter's coming. So make sure you got your hydroponics set up complete. This way you can continue your grow or Keep on growing persistently indoors. Just wanted to check in real quick. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. I want to thank you all for watching. Keep on subscribing. Keep on sharing the videos. And I'll see you on the next one.